let's look at cubic equations or expressions in graphs okay and simplest would be what y is equal to x cubed so let's plot this graph y is equal to x cube okay this is how it would look like what if we make it as y is equal to minus x cube then what happens okay let's see what happens y is equal to minus x cube yes you should be able to explain how it uh, looks like when we go from left to right in case of y equal to x cube it goes from minus infinity towards plus infinity from here minus infinity to 0 to plus infinity whereas in case of minus x cube what happens it starts from plus infinity and as we go towards the right it goes towards minus infinity the slope remains negative throughout in case of minus x cube and in case of x cube throughout it remains positive now we know that this is an equation of order 3 so which means that there has to be up to 3 roots in real numbers up to that means it can be 1 it can be 2 it can be 3 if it is 2 in real numbers that means remaining 1 is in imaginary numbers what happens if I reverse just for uh, you know visualizing purpose let's reverse this let's say y cube is equal to right so if i have to write it down y cube is equal to y cube is equal to x and the other is y cube equal to minus x right uh, so let's come back here let's make it as y cube is equal to x see it goes left to right and y cube is equal to minus x see this is one graph and this is the other graph because both are black that is why can I change the color object properties let's say green okay okay just just by looking at the equation you should see this is I actually speaking y is equal to cube root of x this is y is equal to minus cube root of x so if we have to write it in terms of y this would be 3 cube x cube root of x this is minus cube root of x now how about adding some additional you know uh, let's say x if we add what happens right since we can't figure out what has happened let's delete this let's delete this and let's delete this as well now let's see what happened by adding x let's first remove it 
plus x. It's becoming much more straighter. Now let's say 3x. It's becoming much more straighter. But what we want is not x but square. So let's say square. Now it has become much more, the curve has become much more pronounced. Okay, and now you have two roots, one is 0 and one is minus 3. Okay, now let's add 2x. Yes. Let's remove 2x and see what happens. See, the moment you added a 2x or x, the moment we add, let's say x. Okay, now see here, the graph has moved down a little bit. It was 0 before. Now, because we added x, this curve has become less pronounced and the graph has moved a little bit down. Let's make it 2x. See, the curve has become much less. And the graph has shifted a little bit down as well. And now you clearly see that there are three roots. There are three roots, minus 2, minus 1 and 0. Now let's add a constant. What happens? If you add a constant, what happens? The y-intercept goes up. See, with the y-intercept is what? Where x equal to 0. So, make all these first three expressions as 0. So, y equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 2x plus 5. Okay, this becomes 0, this becomes 0, this becomes 0 in case of a y-intercept. So, you are left with y equal to 5. So, your y-intercept goes up or down depending on whether the constant is a positive or negative number. So, let's say minus 1. Yes, it has come down now. Now, with that constant in keeping it as it is, let's change this to 3x and see what happens. Yes, the curve is becoming lesser and lesser curved. If I move this, can I move it? Let's see first. I can't move it. Some setting has changed. Okay. Now, if I say y cube minus 1, x cube minus 1 cube, this is as good as. What happens? I have only one x intercept. I have only one root. x cube equal to 1. So, x equal to 1. But as per the rule, there has to be three roots. That means that two other roots are in uh, complex plane or in imaginary numbers. Now let's let's change the signs one by one in this equation. So x cube plus three x square plus two x. plus 2x plus 5. Okay. Let's not have, let's have it somewhere in the middle itself. Let's say 2. Now let's change this to minus 1. Or minus. What happened? The moment we made it as minus 1, what happened? The graph has shifted y-intercept is 2, the curve has become sharper, 
but most importantly now it goes from min, uh, plus infinity to minus infinity whereas in the other case see minus so it's not a you know a straightforward kind of uh, changing change in graph now you will be in a much better position to see the difference see here somewhere about 10 somewhere below 10 right so let's press enter see nothing interesting happening near 10 okay similarly let's change this to minus right what happened the whole thing shifted towards the right let's see plus and let's let me again change it to minus right it has shifted forward when it is minus it goes forward when we change it to plus it goes backwards okay let's keep it as plus and now let's change this to minus this again you know very similar to changing the x cube sign somewhere near below 2 and somewhere about 10 okay and this of course if i say minus 2 the whole graph will shift down your y intercept will be minus 2 okay i think that's enough for cubes nothing much but it is very important for you to try it out if you have a smartphone you can uh, download some apps graphic calculators and try out this by changing the equations okay now remember i just want to mention one thing that just because something doesn't appear to be interesting say for example simple example let me give and let me make it plus 100 right it, you know it looks like as if it's a straight line right if you keep zooming out it's only now that you realize that it is you know not a straight line but when you are you know at one is to one scale it looks as if it is a straight line it's only when you keep zooming and 100 comes into picture that you know that something interesting is happening and it's not a straight line see that's the you know reason why you can't overly depend on software or graphing calculators in this particular case because what you are seeing may look uninteresting but somewhere else there might be something interesting happening but if you know the equation and the effect of each part of the equation on the graph you will be in a much better position to know whether what the software is showing is it all or is there something more so for this uh, you know the only thing i would suggest is uh, download geogebra itself or you can download any graphing calculator app and try out all this so create a cubic equation keep changing the coefficients keep adding or removing the different parts of the equation x square x constant 
and see how the graph changes. So, Y for now. 